telling Hunter it's not uh, not one of my best opening weekends ever, but uh, saw some good things from some of our guys. Uh, saw some things that we need to correct. Um, you know, some things we can build on. Uh, but all in all, you know, some things that we've really got to fix. You know, on the mound, you can't have that many walks on the weekend, and I think we average eight walks a game. And anytime you're giving a good offense like that free passes, it's gonna it's gonna end up biting you in the rear. And it's kind of what it did for this weekend. So we got some things we got to work out. And um, you know, l- luckily we got you know some more games coming up, and it's the start of the season, and we have time to get those get those fixed. Yeah, Peyton, you are currently leading your team with a 632 batting average. Can you talk about what you've been seeing and how you've been able to perform? Uh, it really goes back to Coach Clowers just giving us a good uh, scouting report on what to sit, and I'm just trusting and going with it. Coach, uh, very, I would say very impressive first game right out the bat. Yes, sir. Um, talk about those moments that you saw from that first game and how you guys are going to try to replicate that going forward. Yeah, I think that's, you know, that, that's the blueprint. The blueprint is is what we did on Friday night. You know, we pitched well. Um, I think there were some jitters there early, you know, and some guys made some defensive play, uh, didn't make some defensive plays that they should have made. Um, but I think once we settled in, I think, uh, you know, everything kind of fell like we expected. Um, I thought our hitters did a good job of, of staying, you know, continuously on the attack with a good pitching staff. They, they threw out some really good arms against us. Um, and I thought our pitchers did a pretty good job of kind of holding, holding, uh, you know, uh, the game where it was at at that point, um, I think the the ball that was hit down the right field line could you know could have went either way. They could have called it fair. They could have called it foul. You know they called it fair, and that that ended up being the deciding factor in the game. But you know I, after that game, I really felt like that was kind of the blueprint for what we're trying to do for this season. And not shortchanging anything, but bringing in that big, bit, literally a big twelve yeah, opponent sure. for a home opener. That's huge for the program. Talk about. What's next in the capstone for you guys going going forward? Yeah, I mean, anytime you can get a team like that to come to your place for an opening weekend, you know, it's always that's that's always good and that's always big. Um, you know, what you hope is you hope that you put out you know some good efforts. And you know, I, I like I think like I said before, I think we did the first two, um, but the second two, I think we definitely you know left some meat on the bone and some things we got to address. And I think we'll get it fixed. But that's always good when you can have you know a big opponent like that. Had some great crowds the first two nights. Had some, had, you know, had some really, really good crowds, and and that's always fun for our guys to play in front of. And I think that just kind of is, is what what we're looking to strive for, you know, every weekend. Parker, what are you going to be able to do, um, or what is your strategy heading into literally a one-game series tomorrow, but then a bigger the, the classic happening for this weekend? Uh, just keep my same approach and just keep trusting the process, and hopefully everything will fall my way. Keep trusting the process. We'll see you guys tomorrow All back right. Chase's Field for a single game matchup against Prairie View. All we'll right. see you guys then. Thank you guys. Appreciate it.